first half here and um, and um, and what was going well for y'all during that period? Well, the first half was um, a great start for us. A great start of ball movement. Uh, then the ball find the right person at the right time. Uh, and we were taking our time being very patient offensively. Uh, defensively, we were pretty aggressive. Uh, not allowing them to take the open looks that they normally would get, kind of making it a little, little difficult more so to speak. Uh, and then there were some miscues defensively. And, uh, they broke loose getting offensive putbacks and we turned the ball over. Uh, they kind of stepped it up a little bit defensively on us and we turned the ball over. And that kind of filled in their favor. Momentum kind of shifted. And uh, in that second half here, uh, kind of what, what I, later part of the first half when uh, Tulane kind of built, you know, built the lead, you know, started building the lead back up and then into the second half, I guess kind of what would you say would have changed for y'all? Well, one, our transition defense wasn't very good after turning the basketball over. We didn't have someone in the hole. Um, you got to always have someone in the hole uh, to at least, you know, hold up the transition. Uh, then they started getting some open shots and knocked, knocked them down. And, uh, that kind of kind of hurt us a little bit. Uh, built momentum tremendously in their favor, especially being at home, got the crowd in it. Uh, and it was very important for us at that point to get those defensive stops, and we didn't execute very well offensively. Uh, we weren't in attack mode like we normally would want to be. Uh, that was key to us. We felt like it would put us in, give us a chance at least uh, to get ourselves in positions to score. And uh, anything else? Well, Coach, obviously you know that one point in the game was a nine-point game. You hold Tulane without a field goal for a period of six-plus minutes. Um, you had to feel pretty well your team's chances at that point. Absolutely. You know, when you get down like that and you got the crowd going in your favor and our kids just fought back. You know, we always talk about those, the power of five and getting five stops and then going down to score and then going to get the power of five again and going down to score. Uh, that was important for us. And our kids did a really good job during a stretch to get ourselves back in the game. Uh, but unfortunately, we would make one of those little tic-tac fouls and then we are there, they are at the free throw line, they shut the ball well from the free throw line. I think fouls made a, made a big big factor in the game, 25 fouls, two lane, 26 34 from the free throw line, you guys were only 10 or 13. Yeah, that's big. You know, if we would have stayed in, in attack mode, maybe we would have gotten to the free throw line a little bit more. Uh, it's all like they say about the game, anybody who's the aggressors normally gets to the line. All right, Coach, appreciate it. Thank you.